Hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Cinders. We're in the middle of the forest on the way back from our little escapade into town where we talked to Tobias and made a deal with him and there was all kinds of crazy stuff happening. And now we have to go report back to our stepmother at our residence. So let's go there and see how this goes. We did, man we did like pilfer some of the money because Tobias gave us a good deal and we used it on ourselves at the bar. So let's try to avoid telling Carmosa that. The journey back to my house was much too short. I am not looking forward to facing Carmosa or my sisters again. At least I got a rare reprieve from their insults today. I wish it had lasted longer. What's that little branch up in the corner? I, what does that mean? I, I think that means uh, I, a choice I made affected the story. I, something like that. I don't know. Uh, I'm terribly late. Carmosa told me to hurry back. And it's nearly nightfall. I'm sure she'll skin me alive. Ugh. Oh my. Cinders! Do you have any idea what time it is, you useless girl? Where have you been all this time? Alright, so I don't, I don't think now is the time to really, like, uh, you know, in instigate. I'm not going to talk back for now. So I'm just going to apologize. I'm just going to kiss up for now. Just just for now. Let's just, let's just do that. I apologize. There was a lot of commotion in town, and I sort of uh, got caught up in... Enough with your excuses. They make you look so pathetic. If you chose to ignore my orders, at least have the pride to stand by your decision instead of simpering like that. The child you once were is gone. You must be a woman now. Have more pride in yourself. Otherwise, you are nothing more than a lazy and useless little girl. At least you managed to finish the task appointed to you, though I take little solace in that. Is it too much to hope that you managed to keep some of the money I gave to you? Nope. I mean, yes, it is too much to hope. Well, he, well, he said the price was 200 gold pieces, so that is what I paid him. Why am I not surprised? I suppose it is foolishness to expect more from a girl as disjointed from reality as you. What are you talking about? You never take the first offer! Anyone who conducts business, no, anyone in their right mind knows that. But Tobias is my friend. He would not... Enough! I am not interested in your excuses. What a disaster! You are more useless than I could have imagined. If I stopped feeding you, it would be exactly what you deserve. But I suppose I would be arrested for petty crime if I did that. But I... Silent! Get out of my sight! Just looking at you makes me ill. You will go to your room, and you will stay there until you are summoned. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, so, yeah, anytime, like, that little branch thing pops up in the upper right, that means a decision affected the story, I believe. It's like a, it's like a point, a turning point or something. Meanwhile, in the hall of wherever this place is, uh, the prince from Beauty and the Beast turned back from a beast, and, and Pearl, um, that's the prince, I guess, it's prin Prince Charming, I don't know. My, my lord, I've been told you wanted to see me. Prince Basile, I should say. I have been informed of the hostage situation at the marketplace today. I also heard that you handled the situation rather admirably. Yeah, you know, he just like slaughtered people and all that. For that, I commend you. Thank you, my lord. But the truth is that I regret having to kill so many men. They couldn't even put up a fight. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. You should be ashamed of yourself. Such is the burden of those in positions of power. We must make difficult decisions for the sake of protecting others. It is not a choice, but a duty. And you performed your duty to perfection. You honor me, I mean, you honor me with your words, my lord. You deserve it. After all, my father, your king, has always spoken well of you. I know he even considered you a friend. If the king spoke so, 
I am honored by such confidence. Truly? What do you think of my father? How was it to serve under him? The king was a wise, skillful, and strong leader. I would have followed him anywhere. That is what I have heard from everyone who knew him. Already, I fade in comparison. You mean you pale in comparison? Those are some interesting eyebrows. That, those are some wicked eyebrows, Prince, by the way. Just saying. Well, what's, what's with that? My Prince. I have not yet been crowned, as father's last wish was that I should find a wife first. No doubt, he wished that I should find someone, he wished that I find someone capable of ruling by my side. No doubt, why don't you make Gwen Stefani your uh, wife? I'm just kidding. Princess Gwen, ah, I think there's a ring to it. Um, of, uh, of course, every noble in the land is eagerly pushing an eligible daughter toward me. But I need a strong woman I can rely on. A queen who can support my agenda, no matter how hard it's going to be. I am a simple warrior, my lord. I know very little of romance and politics. Nonsense. My father trusted in you in more matters than war, and I too am willing to do that. Please advise me not as the captain of the guard, but as my friend. But I confess, even my own palace is not a safe place for discussing such delicate matters. The walls have ears, and I would not wish for my search for a wife to become any more public than it already is. That'd be creepy if the walls actually had ears. Might we go hunting together tomorrow morning? I think we would find the forest a safer place for a discussion. Such an action is dangerous, my lord. If something were to happen to you... There is no one to succeed you in the throne. Is that so? I cannot imagine anything safer than having the famous captain of the guard by my side. If that is what you wish, my lord. That is indeed what I wish. You can go now, friend. Friend. Everybody's everybody's friend in this. Tobias is... Cinder's his friend. My prince. And Peralt is Prince Basile's friend. Good old, is he on roller skates or what? I mean, good old Peralt, brave captain of the Royal Guard, first sword of the kingdom, veteran of the Renegade War. I mean, just saying, that floor's pretty shiny. You could probably skate pretty well on that. It's like a rink. Reduced to killing common thugs and guarding market stalls. Not yet aware of how obsolete his role is. These are different times that require a new kind of bravery and power. Our wars will not be fought using iron and fire, but gold and lies. I like that. Gold and lies, iron and fire. Prince Basile, that's his name. Don't wear it out. I don't know. The Skating Prince. The Skating Prince? That, that sounds like a legend somewhere. I don't know. Uh, I hope you can adapt to these new times, my poor old friend. Because when I become the king and start realizing my plans, goodness knows I'm going to need someone like you. Ooh, what does that mean? What are your plans? To massacre people? Like, th that's kind of creepy. I don't know. I mean, I don't think that's what Peralt wants to do. Like, he's, he, he used to be more noble than that. But anyway, later that night, here's Cinders. She's just chilling. Finally, I have some time to myself after doing Carmosa's bidding all day. And there's the branch again. Still, it couldn't have been worse. It could have been worse. Carmosa was furious, and I got nothing but cold scraps for dinner. But at least I was able to get away from the house for most of the day. I always love going into town. Man, there's so many choices. Look at that, all those dings. I can't believe how exhausted I am after today, though. My feet ache, and I feel so sleepy. I should go to bed. Carmosa certainly won't allow me to sleep in tomorrow. Whoa. Knocking sound. So it's like not part of the dialogue. That's a stage direction, not part of the dialogue. I'm a theater person. I know these things. Was that someone knocking at the door? Why would someone be visiting us at such a late hour? Silence! I paid for your discretion, and yet you pound on the front door as if it's a war drum. Right.
right, right. Pardon, madam, I swear I'll be silent as the tombs are. Right away, mum's the word. Mum's the word. What a, what a saying. What a, I don't even know. I don't know who's talking. I don't know what voice to give them. Yeah. Enough with your s nonsense. The package is ready to go. Can I trust you? Oi, oi. You wound my pride, madam. I, I, I'm more trustworthy than an old priest at a confessional. What is this accent? I don't know. Oi, oi. That makes it seem like it's some sort of, like, like a Cockney accent or something. I don't know. But such an utterance is of little comfort to me. Hee <laughs> hee. No one can stop, stop Carmo. No one can escape Carmosa's biting tongue. Aren't you curious about who that person is at the door? Now prove there is some value to your words and go before someone sees you. Dot dot dot. Ellipses. Whatever. I don't know. I think he's gone. Oh, so it was a he. Okay. What was what was that all about? What on earth is Carmosa trying to hide? Maybe I should sneak out the window and try to follow him. Oh yeah, let's do that. He can't have gone far. If I leave now, I'm sure I could catch up with him. Why wouldn't we do that? No, no. That's crazy. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, this is what interesting people do. Okay? The mysterious visitor. I must be crazy, but this might be my only chance. How long have I waited here, wishing for a change? Finally, an opportunity has presented itself. Carmosa clearly has a secret. If I could figure it out, I might have an advantage over her. Hmm. No one is outside the window. Now is as good a time as ever. Here goes nothing. And we're out the window. To the window! To the wall! I don't know. Well, now what? That castle looks stunning in the background. Wow, yeah. this place looks better at night, almost. I don't know. Some beautiful graphics in this game. I tried to keep my distance while following that man, and now I've lost his trail completely. If he's somewhere up ahead, I'll really have to hurry to catch up with him. But if I accidentally pass him, then I run the risk of running into him when I return home. Ow! Curse these demonic excuses for plants. I guess that's the person. Shady character. The way you scratch at a fellow, you're more like wildcats than shrubs. I don't know what this voice is, honestly. That must be him. He's close. I better hide. Arg! Blasted rocks! What are they doing in my path? Oh, look at that dude. It's like the guy who, like, from Pinocchio or something. I don't know. You think they think they'd clear out this place, accounting that a fellow can't see a thing in the dark? It's not proper, I tell you. Boy, he looks dapper and like like a Les Mis character at the same time. Like, he's on this, I don't know. The hat, the tattered hat. Well, I'm sure this be the place. I'm sure this be the place where I'm scheduled to meet that smart-ass merchant. Smart-ass or not, shouldn't you be more careful when talking about the man who pays you? What? Tobias is fraternizing with some rather shady, literally named shady characters in, in this, in, to, to achieve his ends. Okay. Oi, boss. I was just talking a little to myself. No harm meant, you know. Truly. I suppose I can let this one go if you've brought the package as discreetly as Lady Carmosa requested. Of course, of course. No ifs about it, boss. It wounds my honor that you doubt my competence, even for a moment. No, I'd never doubt you. Now hand it over. Uh, before I do, boss, I have a little something I'm needing to ask you. And what would that be? You know I'm an honest man, but my curiosity took a hold of me so hard I had to stri I, I have had to look inside this package. Oh my. And lo and behold, my eye spies, I spy with my little eye, a mighty fine necklace set with rubies and made of gold. It's worth thousands of sovereigns at least, yeah? I specifically instructed you not to look inside. But the necklace! Yes, it is probably worth quite a lot of money. I don't get it, boss. 
Why is the noble lady paying us to take this offer? Offer hands. Offer hands. Offer. It's not an offer. It's off her hands. Seems all wrong ways around to me. I'm sure she has her reasons, and you're not being paid to poke around and ask needless questions. In fact, if you don't keep your mouth shut, you won't be paid at all. Whoa, boss. No need to get so angry. My mouth is as secure as the royal treasury it is. I doubt the contents are quite as valuable. Still, you've completed your task, so here is your pay. Fifteen sovereigns. Try not to drink it all at once. It's gonna melt down the coins. <laughs> no, I get it. I, I'm not a fool. Okay. Me never. You wad. You wound me with your accusations, boss. I'm sure. Well, we should return to town before somebody, someone, stumbles upon us. What on earth is Tobias up to? Never mind that. If I don't do something, they'll leave before I can do anything. Now might be my only chance to confront him, but I probably shouldn't act too impulsively. Alright, so, uh, mm, I... For some reason, I feel like the more interesting thing to do would be to go back home. I'm gonna do that. I, I don't want to do everything just, like, right out in the open. I think I've seen enough. I'd better get back before they catch me, or someone finds me missing. I'll talk to Tobias about this later, after I've had some time to think about it. It's best to speak with him alone, anyway. Alright. Alright, so... Hmm, Tobias, what you up to? Are you... is he... hmm... I, we, we trusted you, I don't... I thought we trusted him, I don't know. In the morning! In the morning. Up and at him. Okay. Yeah. Oi. What a night! Maybe Boss was right when he said not to drink away my pay in one go. Still, can't say it wasn't worth it for how great last night was. Wait. What exactly happened last night? How'd I even wind up here? The deer went this way, my lord. Oh, oh, who, who's hunting? We know who's hunting. Oi, someone's coming. Better lay low for a mite. Alright. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's Daryl Peralt. Hurry, before it gets away. And Prince Creepy Face. Creepy Eyes. Uh, he's, he's handsome. He's a handsome prince. But he's got a creepy look to him. Forget the, forget the deer, Captain. There are more important matters at hand. If this is about what you asked yesterday, my lord, I know little of politics or the affairs of the court. That's exactly why I need you. You're straightforward and honest, and you see things I can't. Behind all those smiles, everyone in the court lies to me. No, you're the only man I can trust. I will serve you to the best of my ability. What is it that you wish to discuss? Oh. <laughs> His voice is starting to like make my throat sore. That. It's about my father's last wish. I must have a wife before I ascend to the throne. How am I to choose one? There is a ball in a few days. Isn't that your chance to find an eligible young lady? In theory, but that's the problem. How will I be able to tell? The monarchy is weak without a king, and the nobles around me are plotting to advance themselves. They groom their daughters like prized spaniels in the hopes that I'll be taken in by a pretty face. Eyebrows. <laughs> I need a wife who is strong and smart, I, I guess I'm not one to talk about eyebrows, but you know. Uh, someone who can rule the kingdom wisely, not feed me with her father's poisonous words. But I doubt that I'll ever find such a woman. Oh look, that was a good choice. Maybe that... Don't give up on every maid in the kingdom, my lord. Maybe a thought just came to his mind. Even yesterday, I met a young woman who had a quick wit and a fire in her eyes. She did not seem like a woman of nobility, though. A shame, that is, for I would gladly have gone to see any woman that you hold in such regard. And yet you must choose a wife, 
from among the nobility, regardless. It is, after all, a tradition. As if tradition mattered to that brood of vipers, they plot to control the throne before it is even in my grasp. If I marry to please a powerful house, I risk having a fool for a wife. But what other choice do I have? Oh my, a fool for a wife. I, I, mm, if we respected the traditions to the fullest, to the f not the fool, the fullest, you'd be able to choose any woman in, at the ball, even someone you didn't know. <laughs> How convenient that is. How convenient that this rule is often forgotten. Someone I didn't know. Hmm. Captain, you're brilliant. It's perfect. I'm not sure I follow your thinking, my lord. A masquerade ball. I'll be able to choose from the women without discriminating over looks or political ties. Masquerade! Yes. The phantom of the cinder. I don't know. They've been pushing me to follow tradition for so long they can't complain if I remember the old tie, the old rules. Captain, you truly are a remarkable man. I see now why my father trusted you so much. Uh, of course, my lord. Yeah, well, uh, it's always an honor to be of service. Thank you so much, my friend. You are a rare breed indeed, still faithful to your ideals. Ideals or not, our prey has long since escaped us, and if we linger any longer, people might grow suspicious. You're right, my friend. Let us return to the castle with all haste. Now that I have a solution in mind, I can return with a light heart. Dot dot dot. Well, that's a bit of a juicy gossip you don't hear every day. Masquerade ball, huh? Yep, yep. I know a certain lady who would pay handsomely for this information. That she would. Th that day may have started la the day may have started lousy after all of last night's drinking, but it's turned out to be quite a good one after all. All thanks to a few extra rounds at the pub. Yep. You can't go wrong with that. All right. There's a lot of going to the pub in this game. <laughs> 